I'm Linda Benglis from Lake Charles, Louisiana, and I'm a hometown, small town girl. I studied at Sophie Newcomb College, did sculpture there and did painting and ceramics. And I graduated with distinction in uh, both painting and ceramics, and then I went to New York and I began to uh, meet all these wonderful famous artists. And um, I got a job in a gallery and pretty soon I realized that uh, the art world was all about this creativity and the people that were interested in uh, this creativity and backing it and showing it. I began to show in Europe before I was 30, in Germany. So I was known in Germany for this kind of pouring and mixed media work, particularly in latex rubber and, and polyurethane and semi-flexible polyurethane. So I continued work to this day in polyurethane and transposed it into bronze, and I began doing that in 71. I think anything that you want to do is about the energy, the positive energy to do it. With that attitude and with also my interest in exploring other materials, I began to cast glass. Well, this week we began with the mask, the casting of the mask. And here you have the, the form positive and here's a the negative is one of the mask is another, and we're going to blow the hot glass into the surface of the mask. I think this kind of idea of a kind of mythic approach to abstraction is innate. Since we are children, we read things. It's kind of a gestalt. We read figures into trees, and we live in clouds and in nature. So I decided that it would be really nice to take a generalized approach to the idea of the face and to kind of think of the face as a kind of way to morph the material, or morph the face, and also express what the material can do with the glass. Isn't that a good flash? You gotta push that in a little bit more. At the end of the week, uh, we're going to do the concave convex pieces and the molds, which were quite complicated to do, and we're going to see how those function. These are forms that I developed some 12 to 14 years ago. I'm excited about using this technique because I've, you know, I've cast like thousands of pieces and I've never done it this way. It's a, like a one-shot deal. If we don't get the glass to flow in, then we don't have a piece, so it's kind of a little more dramatic. And it should be when we're pouring them, be very dramatic. This, this facility is really incredible. I think there's a kind of wonderful uh, camaraderie here, and I think there's an understanding that we're after the same thing. These are all artists I'm working with. The so they're really curve, the uh, I mean, understand you know, if I say a certain kind of curve, curve or, you know, certain play of light. We're speaking the same language, and that's that's really a thrill. 